at the smoothish me view can be on the scalp by the truma of a call and punk of Manchester. Must be about um, oh, it's over three years ago that I came and photographed this house yeah, from yeah. the TV inside and so on. And then it was probably about a year after that, I was walking through Tarbert one day and somebody said to me, he says, Oh, there's something down the road there that would probably interest you. And I said, What's that? He says, It's an old television set, it's on the pavement outside the Harris Hotel. So anyway, I carried on walking down and sure enough, I got there and on the pavement outside the Harris Hotel was this TV. So I thought, it, it's a real shame to leave it there um, so for whatever reason I went and put it in my van and I thought I'll take it down to the workshop maybe I can use it for uh -huh. something I, I've no idea what yeah. and then it was only later that night I remembered back to photographing the, the TV set in here so mm -hmm. I went back to my original files from that se photo session yeah. and some of them are real close-ups you know yeah, and yeah. Cut a long yeah, story yeah. short I identified the fact that the TV I'd picked up outside the Harris Hotel on the pavement was exactly the same TV that was in there a year oh, previous. Right, 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 yeah. So I, I, I kept the TV down at the workshop in Leverborough and I just kept thinking to myself, one day I'm going to return that TV <laughs> to its rightful place. Good stuff, get a hand. Good moment. I don't want to break it now. <laughs> Having looked after it for all this time. Someone, someone in um, the people of Tarbert will be watching this and saying, Oh my God, that's telly. That's that telly yeah. that I put out to get picked up for the rubbish. We should have taken fingerprints. <laughs> yeah. Just a coat. Slightly. That made worse. Occupation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it not much safer being a musician? Uh, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Things have changed a little bit. Uh huh since I was last in. Right, right. That's the, um, that's the little table that the TV was on. It was, in, it was over in this corner here. Okay. So the first time you came here, was this, you know, did you, was this how you found it or did you set it up for? No, I, 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 didn't, I didn't set it up. I mean, I'll, I'll normally, if I come in a house, I, I do try to just leave it as is, if, yeah. if it looks okay. But uh -huh. um, no, the way it was set up, it, that, that's what appealed to me. It looked like, Someone who had been sat in that chair uh -huh. watching the TV on right, the right, table over there, yeah, yeah. In, and in amongst all Doing. this <laughs> nuclear holocaust uh -huh, that's gone uh -huh. on, just sort of they've, they've nipped out to get some beef yeah. round the back or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it sort of reminded me of those, um, you know, that 1950s footage of H bomb tests, uh -huh, um, uh -huh. and. You know, because the, the the photo I got has got all the rafters visible yeah. in the room and uh, all this kind of well, it's not instant destruction because this has taken decades rather yeah. than a split yeah. second. Uh -huh. But the fact I just love the fact that that old TV was still there. I'll put yeah. put that back where it's meant to be. Uh -huh. Sort of in amongst the chaos, there was with it, with a, an intact screen. Uh -huh. and, uh, there you go. Yeah, I mean, normality. Home sweet home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's worth trying to stick the door up. Have you got your tools? I don't have any tools, but yeah, I think you could prop it there quite fairly easily. Was it a jar? It was, yeah. Just I had it just enough to. Show Kutch in a jar of a neck, John. I was a task for the guys in lounge of this show on the way. And this, I joined the food of this door, I was marked a little at three opening in Ike. I got a yalan, I took a lunch and I was a quick cow. What started just as a, a pure interest of my own, just to satisfy my own curiosity and go uh -huh, and photograph uh -huh. these houses, it was apparent that a lot of people out there are interested in it uh -huh. as well. Yeah. And I suppose the thing I quite like about it is that um, poss possibly giving people a chance to see 
a part of the Hebrides that they wouldn't normally get mm -hmm. to see. You know, mm -hmm. everybody's familiar with the, the beaches and the landscape mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. But this, mm -hmm. this side of it, which is almost like a little bit of a, a voyeuristic look back into the past, yeah, um, yeah, what yeah. people were up to here. Um, yeah, I like yeah. that. I like the human connection of it. And have you ever heard the garlic phrase? Well, it's a sort of multinational phrase, you know? And the hoochoo, how does it go? No, the hoochoo, the even the goo, le kuchkin nach the Can't say I have. No? No. Have no. you ever what? fallen in love with anyone you should Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, only <joking. laughs>